hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to take a look on intermediate certification of node.js on hacker rank so this is a problem which we need to solve by writing an apis or writing a utility uh, let's see this problem statement okay product api medium we have json object product specification is uh, there is already a model the task is to implement a rest interface okay get put post delete patch post request to the product which will create a new product expect a json object without the id and is published property okay so id we are generating is published is not there you can assume that given object is always valid we don't need a payload validation a new project should always be created with is published false and with id which you are going to calculate i think i have already done this one problem already which is talking about i think sqlize in memory uh, interface and there we did a get post patch and i think delete delete is nothing but delete and put is returning 405 directly we don't need to implement them okay so post is all about create get is all about return a collection of all the products status code 200 create status code 201 and patch okay patch is a little bit interesting you can use, assume that mod is sent in the patch request with this payload okay there are some criterias in which you need to send 422 request and a processable entity so there are two criterias if mrp property in the matching product is greater than or equal to the selling price or if the quantity is zero okay so that's interesting so we are going to create some products by hitting a post request with this pay payload so what we will do we already have the routes and controller setup here is our route what we will do is we can simply add our default route okay so this is my router router dot post router dot post and my api endpoint is products and here we have controllers inside controller we are going to define method okay let's say create product or you can call simply create because we already know it's it's from product model so you don't need to put the whole name create for a product create is also fine okay and there are some other endpoints like because all are on the same so we can just do get which will just do get all products so similarly we can define one is i think patch put and delete is it returning nothing get post put delete patch so these we will define later uh, let's say this is update product by id these all are uh, we are passing path parameter same with put same with patch we can also have a get by id but i think that's not needed in the apis i see here we can say get product by id okay now what we need to do let's go to our controller here we can define a simple class and there we need to define all the methods we already have a product model and you can already see this product model is providing us all the methods i think product model dot i mean let's put it in method then it will start popping up async async create product let's see this is our first method which is talking about creating a product here we have a request response i will try to do it quickly because we have already done this and it's all about the rest api uh, and the crud operation which i don't like much if there is an error so we need to throw error for now let's throw a simple error object okay in try 
we'll get a body from the request and what we are doing here is uh, let's see what all operations we can do on the product model now we are inside a method yes we see find find all save insert create all that sequelize operations we can perform okay here we are creating so first of all we need to get the existing length of the data which already exists in the database product model dot find all find all empty object and here we can say body body is the object so we can say body dot id is data dot length if item is empty we will assign the id one and then body dot is published as it was there in the readme we need to assign it as a false and then here we can just do create this product model dot create there is a method and you pass this body this will create and then response dot status will say 201 created and then json object we can send the response simple this is our api create product why it is showing unused okay now what we are going to do is we have another method is get get all product which is talking about returning all the products so that we can do is get all product product request response i think we already have this product model dot find by id so we can use this existing logic and we are returning the data so obviously the data will be there otherwise we will have written empty array now the important part in this whole exercise is the patch request update request is like we need to return for update and delete we are returning 405 right so we can map update product by id to our product routes for delete and update for the patch we can create a method patch product by id So these CRUD operations are kind of simple. Only the thing is, you just need to follow uh, whatever you are doing. I mean, the proper status code, proper messages. Here we are passing something in the body. Now, here this is little important because there are some validation criteria. First, you will get the ID from request dot params. Okay, we can also get the body from request object and now we got the id right first we need to validate okay this id really exists in the database or not so we will say cons data equal to await product model product model dot find one find one should be there which is taking where condition where ID is this if we got uh, this data if consider let's say if the, the data is null then we are done here response dot status 404 dot send and return from here okay now the actual game will start but say if we have a data so we will extract out what all things we have the price inside a payload we have mrp and we have stock if you see the readme you can see all these things we have all these properties there price mrp and stock because these things we need to define the criteria and here there are multiple criteria i mean uh, if you read the readme properly you can understand it very easily First, we will check both the criteria. Okay, if MRP is less than price, and if both the conditions are true, because there are three two criteria, and third condition is combined with both the criteria. If this is the true, 
else if now we can say if only MRP is less than price then do this else if there is a condition okay uh, stock is zero otherwise if all these are not the case then what we need to do is we just need to update and return the status code uh, 204 await product model dot update because we need to publish this so we are saying okay I will mark is published true where this is the ID right so I can say uh, it is published is true if nothing matches and here we will just say okay response dot status 402 and the message based on defined criteria in readme file okay and then finally module dot exports we will just return the instance of the product controller so inside our router we can just directly call this what just happened product controller so this is the only thing important i mean we don't need even body because we are directly saying is published true here there are some respective messages which you can add and we can run all the test cases And now if we just run all the test cases this is a problem statement which uh, I just generally did in 15 minutes but the other problems like uh, which we have done already for the basics those were taking more time npm run test and we have these controllers Which needs to be added in the routes okay. So I think we deleted this somehow. Okay. Anything else we are using here? No product model npm run test. This is the class we are exporting it and we are using it in the router controller and we are calling all these methods okay that's for about that's about intermediate certification if all the test cases are passing everything is good then we are win-win then rest all these videos will talk about the angular certifications react certification those are also the basic questions but the only thing is we just need to focus on the logic and the readme file and write uh, the basic simple logic because these questions are not the complex ones and on our passing that's good because we put the respective messages respective status code all the conditions so everything will pass okay thanks everyone